Look, I've eaten a lot of dwarven cuisine, Sandstar. It comes with being a dwarf, and I've never heard anyone say in my life, Hey, pass over that upside-down egg stew, would you? Especially one that's flavoured with ginger. Why would anyone flavour a stew made of eggs with ginger? I don't know, but it's the one smell that I distinctly remember. Maybe your dream just made the impossible seem possible. Vivid dreams can do that. Are you quite sure? I'm quite sure that there is no such thing as an upside-down egg stew. Now, can we please focus on exploring Mithranor before the Chimeras hear about it and they want to put their opinion in on if upside-down egg stew exists? Because trust me, we've been talking about it for long enough. I'm pretty sure they've developed an opinion on it. Oh, fine. We'll talk about it when we rest. Not if I can help it. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 3, Assault on Mithranor, and when last we left off, we're still exploring Mithranor, a place full of hags and chimera. Chimera have the ability to spew out fireballs, like what just happened there. This makes them extremely dangerous. Is there another one? There is another one, right here. They're pretty much everywhere, and so are hags, which are less dangerous because they don't have the ability to fire out fireballs. They may have spellcasting of their own, but I haven't seen it. And I decided to wait here just in case they were around that corner. And they were. Fortunately for us, these spiritual hammers will do a good job of dealing with these foes, and we'll keep looking around and see if there's anywhere that we can have a look. Well, there are some chimeras in there, which tells me that, at the very least, we haven't explored in this direction. There are goodies for us to find, and another fireball to take to the face, which is bad, because Rune is now unconscious. Fortunately, we can DJ away those wounds and carry on exploring. Oh, what happened? A fireball happened. You're very familiar with them, as I recall. Are you ever going to stop joking about that? No, no, I'm not. There's some splint mail here. And by the sounds of it, ooh, there are lots of goodies over there as well. There is a magical shield. Is it as good as this shield? The answer is yes, it is. That said, we're not really going to be... Oh, and a chimera has managed to sneak up on us, which is not good. Also, you can't use the all attack button when you're in the inventory. Something I need to keep in mind. There is a hammer here that is likely going to be better than this mace. It might not be, though. One way to check is to get it identified. It is the Black Hammer plus three. Let's see what happens if we try and attack with it. Will it fly off? The answer is yes, and it comes back. Right, that is a returning hammer, which means that she doesn't have to prepare any spiritual hammers anymore. Oh my. What is it, Lilanva? This is a very powerful, blessed, holy symbol. It's imbued with power unlike any I've ever seen before. I feel my connection with the divine becoming even stronger. In what way? I'm not quite sure. I'm quite sure, though, because I've seen something like this before in Dungeon Hack. This thing is conferring Lilanva an extra spell for every level that she has, and I just realised that I haven't actually given her any six level spells, which is fine, because we can give her two heals. We can also give her a cure critical wounds, and a... hmm... how about a free action there, and a negative plane protection, and no more spiritual hammers, which means that we can now prepare another aid, and a resist cold, and a resist fire. And as for here, two more cure light wounds. That is a marvellous item to get, as is the uh, hammer plus three. But we have all of this that we have to look at as well. Cure light wounds, cure serious wounds, another cure serious wounds, a mage scroll of hold undead, which I'm actually going to hold on to, 
And I've only just realised that the Mage Scrolls are angled from the bottom left corner of the box to the top right, and the Cleric Scrolls are angled from the top left to the bottom right. Subtle things there. A Mage Scroll of Flesh to Stone. We want that, though I don't know what we're going to get rid of instead of that. We can actually drop this, uh... Fireball uh, scroll here. We can actually drop all of these darts as well, because we're never going to be using these darts. And this is a Mage Scroll of Hold Monster. We definitely want to keep a hold of quite a few Mage Scrolls. And with that, I think resting might be a good idea, especially considering the fact that Rex took quite a few nasty uh, hits there from those fireballs. Five hours? It's probably going to be about eight or nine or ten hours. With all of those extra spells from that holy symbol, we're going to be resting that much faster. Twenty or so hours. How's everyone's food situation? Good, 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 and good. Marvellous. Time for some more buffs, and then... We're going to go back on the road. Also, need to make sure that I don't leave this Wand of Magic Missile lying here. The last thing we want to have happen is to drop something like that. I may end up using it! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm never going to end up using it, am I? I may do. We have an extra aid spell for Valendra now, which is a great improvement. There we go. And we can keep exploring at our leisure. With that uh, symbol, we have an extra heal, which is going to be invaluable. What's over here? Have we emerged in a new area? Because that's a sound that I do not recognize from the Chimeras. I don't like that. It sounds like a winged foe. Ready yourselves, everyone. I think they may be behind this door. And I hit something with the fireball! Oh, that's a wyvern! Wyverns! Beware their poison tail! We'll keep that in mind. Wyverns are another foe from Dungeon Hack, and they're a rather dangerous one. Fortunately, we have a lot of ability to hit. And there's lots of goodies in here! And the hammer is back, telling me that there's a large area over there that we should be wary of. Let's have a look at these. This is a statue of the god Lathanda, appearing as a radiant youth, who, even in stone, seems alive with warmth and benevolence. Let's have a look at these. Neutralize poison, prayer, aid, create food and water, slow poison, Power word stun! Well, this is powerful magic. And something I do not know. Another tool for your arsenal, eh? And another one. Mordekainen's sword. Anything else? Oh my, I think we may have stumbled across a powerful caster's repository of scrolls. Even this one is one I do not know. The ability to conjure up storms of acid. That one, however, is one I do know. And a diamond! That diamond looks very valuable. We're not going to be selling it. You don't know that! It might not be used in a puzzle. It's likely going to be used in some form of puzzle or riddle, isn't it? I'm afraid so. If our adventures have taught us anything, such items are never just left for us to keep. I should have prepared my spiritual hammer earlier. No matter. It's prepared now, and that's all that matters. Indeed. Apologies. Don't worry about it. Let's deal with more wyverns. If they do poison us, we have the ability to, uh, get rid of that poison. We have two clerics, so we're doubly likely to be able to do so. Let's go up here, shall we? And see what's over in this direction. The answer is, I think those are trolls. Trolls. This place truly does have a varied selection of monsters. Far more varied than I thought there would be. 
You thought it would just be full of undead as well, eh? Indeed I did. With those foes gone, we need to explore in here and find, of course, even more trolls. They do move quite quickly, they also take a fair few hits, and uh, we're not dealing that much damage with our slashing weapons. So we're going to have to be careful when it comes to uh, fighting multiple of them. Best to make sure we don't get surrounded, but we're doing a pretty good job of that as it is. Anything in here? I don't like this. This has all the hallmarks of a trap. Indeed. I will ready a fireball. Just try not to hit us with it, would you? Really? You had to mention it right now. I'm never going to stop mentioning it. All right, ready? Ha <laughs> ha! A fine hit. It's not gone yet, though. They will fall. You're a fine warrior, Valendra. Those gauntlets make you even stronger. Not much will be able to resist what you throw at them. Indeed not. These enemies will fall as we clear Mithranor of its evil. Indeed. I can agree with that. We'll just, uh, get rid of these foes and find nothing. Nothing in here whatsoever. Let's head back the way we came, then. And keep exploring. I think heading north is a good idea. And finding this area. That's probably either going to have lots of wyverns, or as I can see here, lots of trolls. And this is when these foes are not trolls, and I've got everything wrong. It could very well happen. That troll appears not to be interested in getting closer. Well, I'll get the first blow then. That's fine by me. And you are gone. In there are a lot of trolls, aren't there? We will clear them out, because we must. The tome I seek might be in there. If we do find that tome, will you help us clear out Mithridor anyway? Of course. It would be rude of me not to. I appreciate that. Anything in here? The answer is... No! Nothing in here. So, we're going to go this way instead, and peek around here just in case. Oh look! More trolls! Let's go this way so that we don't go into a dead end, because up there is a small area with no exit, especially if trolls decide to block us in. Ooh, there are goodies in here though! A Wand of Fear. We'll want to hold on to that and get rid of something else. Let's actually drop the Wand of... Uh, no, let's not drop the Wand of Magic Missiles. Let's instead drop a Short Sword plus one. We don't need that. A Polearm, though, that's magical. We could potentially use that. We'll drop the bow. The bow is not magical. Let's leave. Eventually, we will get everything identified. That eventually is not right now, though. We need to prepare a lot of improved identify. What I wouldn't give for an item that would just identify everything that we have. Like those, uh, goggles in uh, Baldur's Gate 2. They're very useful. But such items are typically very expensive. Items that have, uh, unlimited, uh, charges, but a number of uses per day can get quite pricey. I hear more of them. And there's one! It will fall to my pole arm! Could you make it fall a bit faster, please? We're getting flanked. It is no problem. We will prevail. I wish I had your confidence, Rex. Oh, those are Wyverns as well. They do hit quite hard. Sandstar does have an AC of minus two, though, compared to, uh, Valendra's highly impressive minus nine armor class. Over here, I imagine, are where the, uh, well, there is a troll. And hopefully, yep, we're not that far away from the wall there. We definitely want, uh, all of our stuff to return. Also, we're taking a few nasty hits here, but we have a wyvern to take care of. It's time for DJ Lilamva to deal with that wound. Marvellous. 
As for the wyverns, are there some up here? The answer is yes, and we've unfortunately, uh, moved so that we are in a corner. But, being here, we're that much better off. And Ishan is now level 10, and that's good. Gaining two extra hit points. And there's nothing here, and nothing there. So let's head down and see if we can find somewhere else. Or some more foes, alternatively. We're likely going to find more foes. This place is eerily quiet, apart from the Wyverns. You'd think that someone would try to live here, eke out an existence among the ruins. The ruins are better than just the wilderness, after all. Not when they're full of monsters, it's not. That is true. I wouldn't want to be ambushed by any of these in the middle of the night. And yet we still rest here. I thought there was something behind us there, but no. Just things ahead. I really like the fact that these foes don't have a ranged attack of any variety. Ranged attacks is what makes this game quite tricky at points. And I briefly saw a wyvern. Yep, there's a wyvern. Well, there was a wyvern, the wyvern is now gone, but there are clearly more of them somewhere, like here. These foes are a lot less difficult to deal with than the foes in the mausoleum. The game has taken a substantial difficulty drop. There's something here, it looks like a sort of central building. Hello there, I am Father John. What brings you to my temple quarter? We seek a great evil. I'd say you're in a good neighborhood for that. I sincerely hope you're here to eradicate the evil and not to aid it. You could have me come along to help you if you like. I'm afraid we have a full party at present. Indeed, we'd love to have you along, but we're a big enough group as it is. I see. I will just remain here, then. Good shall triumph in the end. Fare thee well. We don't need another person right now. We have two clerics and a frontline fighter who's in the second row using a polearm. We're good for the moment. I imagine that person was a cleric. Here's a dagger. And a cleric scroll of Soul Searing Orb. Now there is a uh, spell that we want to keep. And here's a, uh, cause critical wounds. That is a strange spell to have here. Sometimes you do need to inflict harm instead of healing it. That is true, but in a temple? There's a scroll of heal. That is powerful magic. Very powerful. I'd best hold on to all of these. Oh, that we had, because my... That is powerful stuff. Ice chambers. Hmm. We do have a key. We could use it here, if you wish. Yes, let's. Let's see what is beyond. The spell has expired. Let me handle that. Hmm. A small niche. Ice-coveted Ice. What do we have that would be coveted? We do have that diamond. We have to give up the diamond, don't we? If we want to progress, I'm afraid we may have to. Oh, there go my dreams of riches. In it goes. And I think we've been teleported. That was not a very difficult puzzle. And we are in a different area with a teleporter nearby. Do you fear for your child? Fear. Obviously, another item needs to be put in. Perhaps that wand of fear that you got earlier, Rune. That would make sense, though I question if the puzzle is that simple. Sometimes puzzles aren't super complicated, you know. And there we are. Teleported once again. Choose wisely. 
Uh, we're going to have to pick between what things we want, aren't we? I believe so. Lots of wands, some magical necklaces, or some magical braces. Hmm. I could do with magical braces, if they're superior to what I'm currently using. We will have to consider this carefully. Indeed we will. Or we could just try and take all of them. What? You know that you're thinking exactly the same thing. If there's a way to break this and get everything, you'll want to. Do we really want to incur the wrath of the people that guard this place, though? And what's going to attack us? The teleporters? Uh, could teleport in a massive quantity of wyverns. Okay, you make a good point. And so, when we come back, folks, we have found... a puzzle indeed. Do we go for the wands? Do we go for the necklaces? Do we go for the braces? Or do we try and go for everything? I feel like we should try and go for everything if it's possible. If it's possible. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.